China's Chang'e a mission has landed on the moon's south pole Aitken Basin, aiming to unlock secrets from the dawn of life on Earth. This historic mission is collecting ancient lunar materials that could contain clues about early Earth's conditions and the origins of life. The Spa Basin, being one of the oldest impact craters, offers a unique glimpse into our planet's formative years. Stay with us as we explore how this mission was executed, why it's so significant, and the groundbreaking insights it promises for understanding the origins of life and the history of our solar system. The South Pole Aitken Spa Basin on the Moon is a location of immense scientific interest, spanning about 2,500 kilometers in diameter and plunging to depths of up to 8 kilometers. This colossal crater, located on the Moon's far side, was formed between 4.2 and 4.3 billion years ago. It offers a unique glimpse into the early history of the Moon and, by extension, the Earth and the Solar System. The Spa Basin's significance lies in its ancient origins and potential to hold well-preserved geological records. When the basin was formed by a massive impact, it excavated deep into the lunar crust, exposing material that dates back to the early stages of the Moon's formation. Studying these materials can provide valuable insights into the conditions and processes that shaped the early Moon and Earth. This is crucial because the Earth's dynamic geological processes, such as plate tectonics and erosion, have erased much of the early geological record on our planet. The relatively static and unaltered environment of the Moon, particularly in the Spa Basin, makes it an ideal place to find ancient rocks and possibly even fossils that predate the oldest rocks found on Earth. Moreover, the Spa Basin may also contain material ejected from Earth during significant impact events in the early solar system. For instance, lunar samples returned by the Apollo 14 mission included a fragment of Earth rock that was approximately 4 billion years old, suggesting that material from Earth was indeed transferred to the Moon. This transfer could mean that the Spa Basin holds even more ancient Earth materials, potentially containing clues about the early Earth's surface and the origins of life. In addition to its geological significance, the Spa Basin is also a prime target for lunar exploration due to its unique characteristics. The basin's depth and vastness provide an opportunity to study the Moon's mantle material, which can help scientists understand the Moon's internal structure and thermal evolution. Furthermore, the basin's location on the far side of the Moon presents unique challenges and opportunities for exploration. Unlike the near side, which is constantly visible from Earth, the far side requires sophisticated communication relays, like the Kuetiao 2 satellite, to maintain contact with mission control. The Chang'e -E mission represents a significant milestone in lunar exploration, marking China's ambitious efforts to explore the moon's far side and retrieve samples for the first time. Launched on May 3, 2024, Chang'e 6 successfully landed in the Apollo crater within the South Pole Aitken Spa Basin, a site chosen for its scientific potential and relatively flat terrain. The mission's primary objective is to collect and return two kilograms of lunar material from the Spa Basin. This endeavor is particularly challenging due to the far side's rugged terrain and limited communication windows with Earth. To overcome these obstacles, the mission relies on the Kuakiao 2 relay satellite, which facilitates communication between the lander and mission control. Chang E employs innovative techniques to gather both surface and subsurface samples. The lander is equipped with a drill to extract subsurface material and a robotic arm to scoop up surface regolith. These tools enable the collection of diverse samples, providing a comprehensive picture of the basin's geological composition. The mission's sampling process is highly automated, designed to execute commands autonomously to minimize the need for real-time communication with Earth. This approach ensures efficient and accurate sample collection within the limited time window available. The mission's design also includes a robust simulation and testing phase, where a full-scale replica of the sampling area was constructed to develop and verify the sampling strategies and equipment control procedures. This meticulous preparation aims to ensure the success of the sampling process despite the challenging lunar environment. Beyond its technical achievements, Chang'e 6 carries significant geopolitical and strategic implications. It showcases China's growing capabilities in space exploration 
and its commitment to establishing a presence on the moon. The mission is part of China's broader lunar program, which includes future missions like Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8, aimed at exploring the moon's south pole and utilizing its resources. These efforts align with China's goal of establishing a permanent lunar base by the 2030s in collaboration with international partners under the International Lunar Research Station ILRS program. The samples collected by Chang'e 6 from the South Pole Aitken Spa Basin hold the promise of groundbreaking discoveries that could significantly advance our understanding of the Moon's geological history and the origins of life on Earth. This section delves into the potential findings and their far-reaching implications. The Spa Basin's ancient geological features make it a treasure trove for scientists. The basin's age, dating back nearly four billion years, means that the samples collected could include some of the oldest rocks in the solar system. These rocks can provide valuable insights into the early history of the Moon, including its formation and thermal evolution. By studying these ancient materials, scientists can gain a better understanding of the processes that shape the Moon's surface and its internal structure. One of the most exciting aspects of the Chang'e mission is the possibility of finding material ejected from Earth's early surface. During the early solar system, massive impacts on Earth could have propelled debris into space, some of which may have landed on the Moon. Previous missions, such as Apollo 14, have returned lunar samples containing Earth rocks that are approximately 4 billion years old. If Chang'e's samples include similar materials, they could provide a unique window into early Earth conditions and potentially hold clues about the origins of life. The Spa Basin samples could also contain volcanic materials that reveal the Moon's volcanic history. Understanding the differences in volcanic activity between the Moon's near side, with its large, dark volcanic plains called Maria, and the far side, which lacks such features, is a key scientific objective. By analyzing the composition and age of the volcanic materials in the Spa Basin, scientists can develop a more comprehensive picture of the Moon's volcanic activity and its impact on the lunar environment. Moreover, the samples could potentially contain fossilized evidence of early life. Although this is a long shot, it is not entirely out of the realm of possibility. The Moon's stable environment may have preserved ancient biological material that was transported from Earth during significant impact events. Discovering such evidence would be a groundbreaking find, providing direct insights into the early conditions that facilitated the emergence of life on Earth. In this video, we have learned about the Chang'e 6 mission and its potential to uncover clues about the origins of life on Earth. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.